Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya, from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yeshaya the Christ. Yeshaya of Nazareth. Yeshaya the Messiah. People are still having issues of me calling the Most High Ahaya, which is God, by his Hebrew name, and Yeshaya, which is Jesus Christ, by his Hebrew name. I am very, very sorry, but this is the name forward. And I've told you guys, those of you who have issues with me calling the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth by his name, his Hebrew name, I told you to watch a video because I'm not going to come in the comment section and argue, all right? Okay, brothers and sisters. So, <clears throat> this morning, the 3rd of November. Oh, sorry. No, no. I, 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 I apologize. <laughs> 3rd of December. Wow. Yeah. So on the 3rd of December, um, the Lord spoke to my heart and he said something on my waking when I was waking up and I heard the voice of the Lord says, it has hatched. Let me repeat that one more time. It has hatched hatched h-a-t-c-h -H. now when he said that to me brothers and sisters i knew that he was talking about the et in uh, the pudding i know it was to do with the heat in the pudding and i said to the lord i said father god but i've done many many videos concerning et so brothers and sisters who i fellowship with through you hold through the holy spirit Sorry, knows exactly what I'm talking about when I said E.T. in the pudding. They know that it's an entity in the pudding. But the Lord began to explain to me, brothers and sisters, and I've never seen this before. This is what I'm going to say to you. Maybe other brothers and sisters know about it, and that's fine. But this to me is a brand new revelation to me, to me. I'm not saying it's for everybody because some people may know about the hatching. But for me, I always talk about the E.T. in the pudding. You know that's what it is. I never mentioned uh, hatching here and hatching there and all of that stuff. But the spirit of Ahaya began to speak to me. And he began to tell me that uh, basically that the hatching process has begun. The vision is true. Because remember the vision that I gave, that I saw when I went into Babylon, USA, and I was in the sick institutions, and I was in the theater with all these doctors and nurses. Remember I told you, brothers and sisters, that I saw like entities, I'm going to call them entities, moving up and down in people's stomach, stomach or abdominal area, both male and female are the same type of entity same movement all right so the lord is saying <laughs> father help me to deliver this message because this is deep and this is it's quite sickly really to be honest with you brothers and sisters from my understanding what the holy spirit is telling me is that the et i want you to listen to me very carefully the actual E.T., all right, that they put in the pudding, it hatches. Like, oh, it hatches. The only thing that I know hatches is eggs. So I began to look up the word. I don't know what hatch means, but I just, I, I want to, I'm just coming to terms with what the Lord is showing me. In my spirit. So I looked up the word hatch, H A T H, and it's an egg open and pr produce of a young animal, of a young animal. Eggs need to be put in a warm place to hatch. 
So this hatching process, brothers and sisters, this how, how, how I'm seeing what the spirit of Ahaya is showing me is that the actual ET needs to needs to hatch. It, it literally needs to hatch, you know, to break out of some form of shell. Because that's when you when you hatch something, you're you're in a you're in a shell, isn't it? So like oh, snakes, oh serpents and all of that, lizards, the rep the reptile family, when they're giving birth, it's egg, isn't it? Like well shell, shelly shelly stuff. And then the, the baby animal is born. So <clears throat> the actual eating the pudding, brothers and sisters, how my understanding is, because not everybody would be affected. Some people would be fine. And I always maintain that. And I would maintain that until forever. Like some people would be absolutely fine. But for this is for those who will not be okay. This is for those who will be affected by the hatching, <laughs> eating the pudding. So basically, brothers and sisters, the, the actual ET that is in the pudding, it needs a, a place to, to hatch. Because this is what hatching means, right? Let me go back on the thing. Because according to the word hatching, it says that eggs... Because, like I said, if, if you're going to hatch something, it's, it has to break out of a shell. So the actual E.T., when, you know, people eat the pudding, there's some form of egg that is released in the E.T. Well, the E.T. itself is an egg, basically, but it needs to hatch, hatch rather. So eggs need to be put in a warm place to hatch. Internally, brothers and sisters, the body is warm because we are mammals. We're warm-blooded creature. So it has to be incubated in a place that is warm and That it can thrive. We know that when a woman is pregnant, we have wombs. Women have wombs to carry the baby. It is a it is the place so that the baby can thrive and you have a healthy pregnancy, beautiful baby at the end of the of the nine months. So the ET, the, the, the hatching ET needs somewhere in the body. To incubate where in the body is that because in the vision in the vision brothers and sisters remember I saw in the lower in the well in the abdominal area movement entity movement like a baby both in men and women so the Lord began to speak to me and say that the hatching needs an incubation it needs to be in a place that it will grow and I saw that the growth, I saw that the growth of the etching of the ET is in the large intestine. Because you got, you, you have three, yes, small intestine, large intestine, and the colon. And what I saw was a large intestine that this ET is gonna is incubating in it's not incubating in the heart it's not incubating in the brain it's it's somewhere down in the lower of the in the somewhere in the region of the abdominal area that is where the et that is where the egg is sitting very wicked these people these pharaohs, these wicked, dirty Caesars, horrible, evil people they are. But when the Lord told me that the, the hatching process has begun, he's talking about the eating, the pudding, brothers and sisters. I never know that the E.T. 
Because how I, how I, I knew that the E.T. is in the pudding. That's the fallen one's DNA. I know that. I know that. So I only thought that, okay, it's the DNA. You know, it's going to cross over and it's going to do some harm and carry on. But I had no idea what the Lord is saying to me. And I had no idea that the actual E.T. needs to, needs to hatch. That there is a... You want to call it egg or whatever or something with shell inside of some of these people. And it is going to, ha to hatch. And the place that it is a lodging, that is incubating or would you say a womb-like structure is in the large intestine. The vision doesn't lie. What I saw, the, the vision does not lie. Because I saw it. And to be honest with you, I didn't dwell when I when I when I released that vision, brothers and sisters, a couple a week ago, and I told you that I saw the movement like a baby in these people's abdominal, both the tum, both men and women. I didn't dwell on it because I didn't really. I understood it, but it it wasn't made fully knowledgeable to me. Because like I said, in my heart, in my head, I know, I know E.T. is in the pudding, without a doubt. I know that, the fallen one's DNA. But I only think that, okay, it's DNA, goes into the bloodstream, which it does, and it does its damage. But what the Lord is actually showing me is that, <laughs> yes, Lord, the E.T. in the pudding is very wicked, brothers and sisters. It's very, very, it's, 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 it's dangerous, dangerously wicked. Because in order for the E.T. to, to hatch, the hatch, or, or in order for the E.T. in the pudding, the shell, <laughs> the E.T. in the shell, to develop, it has to be fed. Now, you may say, oh, well, it's feeding because they're eating one, two, they're eating two, three slices. And the more slices it eat, the more feeding it gets, which is true. But, but at the same time, the human blood has to be contaminated so that it can feed the ET. It's like a cancer, isn't it? Sucks all the red blood cell out and, and everything like that. That is the reason why I believe that now they are saying that some people who have eaten the pudding have a depletion, a depletion in their red blood cells, in their plasma blood cells, because of the ET, because of the slices of the puddings, pudding, or puddings, and this blood clot thing that's going around. It's all to do with it, brothers and sisters. It's about the feeding and the eating. Now it's very, very slow. But what the Lord showed me, brothers and sisters, concerning the, the hatching, the hatching of the E.T., it is the Holy Spirit doesn't lie. I didn't know it. If I knew it, I would have come ages ago and would have done a video on the hatching. I didn't know. I had no idea. But this morning, the 3rd of November, 20, 3rd of December, sorry, the 3rd of December, the 3rd of December, 2021, the spirit of Ahaya began to speak. And he says that the hatching process has begun. So that means that it's breaking out of its shell. And it goes hand in hand with Dirty Tweety Bird. Because remember, Dirty Tweety Bird has put up a new policy. And the new policy is that you cannot video or take photograph of anybody individual unless you ask them their consent. Because they know that these things are going to happen. And they know that people are going to complain. People are going to come out and they're going to go. And I bet you, brothers and sisters, and this is where the scare bit is going to come from many pudding eaters. I guarantee you that, that some of these pudding eaters will be taken to social media. And they're going to begin to talk. And they're going to be going to say, well, something is weird with me. It's going on with me. I feel some movement. I feel some movement in my stomach. Even the, what's going to be much weirder is the men. When they began to say that they feel some movement in their stomach, in their lower, in their abdominal area, and they see something moving. I think that is when they're going to, people are going to wake up. 
they're going to come. This is a prophecy I'm giving. They will come. They will come on social media and they're going to begin to talk that something is going on inside their abdominal area. Because it's a hatching. All ghosts never lies. Never ever lies. It hatches brothers and sisters. The actual ET, it, it hatches. Don't know if anybody have talked about this or whatever, but this is just brand new to me. And I have to come and tell brothers and sisters. I know some people are watching me and thinking, oh gosh, what a conspiracy theorist she is. Well, if you want to call me conspiracy theorist, that's totally up to you. But I'm coming to you to let you know underneath the power of the Holy Spirit, what the Spirit of the Lord showed me. And I'm sharing it with the body of Christ. It's up to you whether you want to believe it, yes or no. But overall, the eating the pudding is, is very wicked. It, 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 it alters your internal system. It, alt it alters your internal system. Because it needs to survive and it needs to feed. So it's got to contaminate the human blood so that it can do its thing. It's got to, when I say contamination, it's got to have a depletion. There's some form of depletion of the red blood cell, depletion of the plasma, depletion of the whole serum business. But the, but the, <clears throat> sorry. But the action is in the abdominal area. And I believe it's the large intestine. I believe it's a large intestine where where the host is um is is incubating incubating I hope I'm using that right word right incubating I believe that that is where it's incubating in the large intestine because inside the body is warm in it and a hatching has to do with warm things and all of that. I'm just looking at the word hatching. The loads of word. Um, hatch to break an egg so a baby animal can come out. Hatching process. So when the Lord said that a hatching process has started it, if I'm thinking about a shell, if I'm thinking about a shell, if the hatching process has started, it means that the egg is beginning cracking. Because I don't know how long a, a reptilian egg takes to crack. If it takes two days or it takes a couple seconds, couple I don't know. But if, if the Lord said it's a process, it means that it's it, it's begin to crack. Nine months. But <laughs> brothers and sisters, listen, a lot of prayer is needed. I'm almost finished now. People need to repent. People need to repent. A higher could easily all this divok and the eating the pudding and all of this wickedness that's going on. A higher could have easily, easily stop it, or he could have easily caused it not to happen. He could. But men heart is wicked towards him always remember that though you and i are serving him and we love the lord and we walk in his commandment and his obedience and we have a reverence for the most high you've got to understand that there are people out there that hates the lord hate him proper 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 hates him Got to understand that there are people out there that's very rebellious. And especially, you know, not really especially, but when it sometimes when it comes to the eating, the pudding, and you begin to correct these people, whether it's your family or friends, husband, wife, whosoever it may be, and you begin to show them the correction. I had one person that I was correcting. I was showing the person that, the eating the pudding is wicked because they've had two slices. They turned to me and said, I don't care if the dirty Caesar, they don't call them dirty Caesar, they call them by the proper name. But the person that, oh, if the dirty Caesar comes out with the third slice, I'm going for it. 
said to the person, you need to humble and you need to repent. The person said, I don't need to repent. Why, why, why do I need to repent? I've done nothing wrong. I'm just doing my duty for the community. So it's like, I don't know, the, 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 some of the pudding eaters have got this arrogancy. Well, some of them are very, because I know some people, I know some pudding eaters. I know a few pudding eaters, brothers and sisters. And I know some pudding eaters are very, very remorseful. I'm going to do a video on one pudding eaters eater that I had a conversation with before they ate the pudding. Months I've been warning, go eat it. Go eat the pudding, please. And they went and ate it and they nearly died. Like, literally. It was a case of like, it was worse than my brother's friend. Put it that way. Put it that way. It was worse than my brother's friend that I did that video. So I'm going to do a video about that. It was very, it was very, um, I want to say scare, but we don't do scare. But it was, it was a close one. It was a very close call. But we prayed. We prayed. And I asked Ahaya to have mercy. And he did. So, some pudding eaters are very boastful. Some of them are very humble. And you heard them say, I'm really, I shouldn't have eaten the pudding. And I believe it's those people that Ahaya will have mercy on. And he will, he will revert the hatching. He will get rid of the hatching inside of them. And they will be made whole. But there's some of them, brothers and sisters, you, you cannot speak to these people. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's just, they have just, just this tunnel vision. Just this tunnel vision. And that everything that the dirty Caesars are saying, it is correct with the ET and the pudding. But I wanted to come and do this video. Brothers and sisters, hatching. Go research the word hatch. Got my laptop or something here before me. Go and research the word because the process of this hatching business has begun. People need to repent. People need to really cry out. And like I said, I, be, I believe that some people begin to cry out. The vision is true. The vision is true. The vision is true. Because when they were crying for their tummy, I'm going to try to pin that vision. It's a very powerful vision, brothers and sisters. So many details in there. But when they began to cry for their tummy, remember my spirit went to Jamaica. And these people are just crying for their tummy. They were holding it. But I didn't see the movement of the entity. It's only when I went into Babylon, USA. In the hospitals, I saw the, the movement. But in Jamaica, it, it was beginning, but we prayed. We prayed for these people because they were just beginning to turn. And, um, and they were made hold. And again, I will say this, and I have to say this in every pudding video that I make. <laughs> in every ET pudding video that I make, I have to continue to say this. This is not the mark of satan the beast it is not the 666 you will know when the 666 comes trust me you will know about it um but this here is very very wicked it's very very evil uh, you should run as far as you can from this thing shouldn't take it um but it is not the it's not the mark not yet it is coming the mark is coming the mark is coming but this one is not it okay so be bold be strong be courageous walk with a higher just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high higher who lives above the heavens a higher eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in yes highest holy name amen and amen let's say the benediction together it's jude chapter one jude chapter one verses 24 to 25 the bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the holy wise yes higher our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen and amen amen blessings amen